Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel on Engineering Mathematics. In this video, I am going to discuss applications of De Moivre's theorem. In particularly, we will see expansion of cos nx and sin nx in terms of cos raised to nx and sin raised to nx. We will also see examples based on this. Now let us see steps involved in the method of this expansion. There are four steps involved in this method. In step one, no matter whose expansion you want, either cos nx or sin nx, we will always begin with the statement cos nx plus i sin nx is equal to cos x plus i sin x whole raised to n. I hope you remember this is a reverse statement of de Moivre's theorem. Now in step 2, we will use binomial expansion to expand this RHS part. We will consider this RHS part as a plus b whole raised to n. Then in step 3, we will separate the real and imaginary parts. And lastly, we will compare the LHS and the RHS parts to find expansion of corresponding cos nx or sin nx. I hope you understood these steps. Now let me show you some real examples which we will solve using these steps. In this example, we are asked to prove that expansion of cos 4x is this and sin 4x is this. So let us proceed step by step. I hope you remember the step 1. I told you that no matter whose expansion you want, cos 4x or sin 4x or cos nx or sin nx, we will always begin with the statement cos nx plus i sin nx is equal to cos x plus i sin x whole raised to n. Here n is 4. So we begin by this statement. Now in step 2, we have to expand this RHS part using binomial expansion. We treat this as a plus b whole raised to 4. So using binomial expansion, this will be cos raised to 4x plus 4 cos cube x into i sin x plus 6 cos square x into i square sin square x plus 4 cos x into i cube sin cube x plus i raised to 4 into sin raised to 4x. You can pause the video and check this expansion. Now we will replace higher powers of i with their values. We know that i square is minus 1, i cube is minus i and i raised to 4 is 1. So after replacing them with their values, we get this statement. Now finally in step 3, we will separate the real and imaginary parts out of this expansion. So here I see real terms are cos raised to 4x, minus 6 cos square x into sin square x and sin raised to 4x. I call them real because they do not have iota in it. These two are the remaining terms in which there is an iota. So we put them aside. So after separating real and imaginary terms, we get this. Now in step 4, we simply have to compare both sides for the expansions of cos 4x and sin 4x. Here on left hand side, real part is cos 4x and on right hand side, real part is this. So cos 4x is this bracket. So I say cos 4x is cos raised to 4x minus 6 cos square x sin square x plus sin raised to 4x. Similarly, on left hand side, imaginary part is sin 4x and on the other side, imaginary part is this bracket. So sin 4x is this. That is 4 cos cube x into sin x minus 4 cos x into sin cube x. I hope guys you understood how to expand cos nx and sin nx with the help of de Moivre's theorem and binomial expansion. So now let us proceed with example number 2. Here we are asked to use de Moivre's theorem and show that 2 into 1 plus cos 8 theta is equal to x raised to 4 minus 4x square plus 2 whole square where x is 2 cos theta. Let us proceed with the solution. First we consider this LHS. LHS is 2 into 1 plus cos 8 theta. According to trigonometric identity, 1 plus cos 8 theta is 2 cos square 4 theta. When I take this 2 inside, I'll have 2 square into cos square 4 theta, which we can write as 2 cos 4 theta whole square. Now we concentrate on this cos 4 theta. 
in my previous example we have already seen expansion of cos 4 theta so i'm not wasting my time to find out what is expansion for cos 4 theta over here also i will borrow that solution directly over here and write cos 4 theta as cos raised to 4 theta minus 6 cos square theta sin square theta plus sin raised to 4 theta now we will multiply it by 2 so 2 cos 4 theta will be 2 cos raised to 4 theta minus 12 cos square theta sin square theta plus 2 sin raised to 4 theta now we will replace this sin square theta with 1 minus cos square theta because trigonometric identity says sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1 so sin square theta is 1 minus cos square theta this sin raised to 4 theta can be written as 1 minus cos square theta whole square now we open this brackets and we multiply this cos square theta inside this bracket and we will write this 1 minus cos square theta whole square using formula of a minus b the whole square which says a minus 2ab plus b square let us open this bracket also now we combine the terms having same degree so we have here 2 cos raised to 4 theta plus 12 cos raised to 4 theta plus 2 cos raised to 4 theta which contributes to 16 cos raised to 4 theta minus 12 cos square theta minus 4 cos square theta contributes to minus 16 cos square theta finally we left with only one constant 2 that we write as it is so 2 cos 4 theta is this we substitute this value of 2 cos 4 theta over here so we get 2 into 1 plus cos 8 theta is equal to 16 cos raised to 4 theta minus 16 cos square theta plus 2 the whole square now let us write this 16 cos raised to 4 theta as 2 cos theta whole raised to 4 this 16 cos square theta can be written as 4 into 2 cos theta square plus 2 as it is and whole square outside now i am going to su substitute x is equal to 2 cos theta in this so when i put x is equal to 2 cos theta over here i get 2 into 1 plus cos 8 theta as x raised to 4 minus 4 x square plus 2 the whole square as required hence proved i hope guys you understood this solution now let us proceed for example number 3 here we are asked to prove using de moivre's theorem that sin 6 x upon sin 2 x is equal to 16 cos raised to 4 x minus 16 cos square x plus 3 let us proceed with this solution. We know no matter whose expansion you want, cos nx or sin nx, we have to begin with the statement cos nx plus i sin nx is equal to cos x plus i sin x whole raised to n. Here n is 6. Let us first find out expansion for sin 6x. So we have to take n is equal to 6. So by de Moivre's theorem cos 6x plus i sin 6x is equal to cos x plus i sin x whole raised to 6. Now in step 2 we have to expand this RHS using binomial expansion. We treat this as a plus b whole raised to 6. So you can draw the Pascal triangle in rough to find out the coefficient in the expansion. Then you can write the expansion in this way. There will be total 7 terms involved in this expansion. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Later, we will replace higher powers of i with their values. i square is minus 1, i cube is minus i, i raised to 4 is 1, i raised to 5 is i, and i raised to 6 is minus 1. So, after replacement of their values, we get this. Next is step 3 that is separation of real and imaginary parts so here real parts are cos raised to 6x minus 15 cos raised to 4x into sin square x plus 15 cos square x into sin raised to 4x minus sin raised to 6x and imaginary parts are the remaining terms since we want expansion of sin 6x we will focus or compare imaginary parts of both the sides of this equal to sign 
so here imaginary part is sin 6x and on the other side imaginary part is this one so after comparison we get expansion of sin 6x as this one i hope guys you understood this part next we have to find out value of sin 6x upon sin 2x so we divide both sides of this equation by sin 2x on left side we divide it by sin 2x and on right side we divide it by 2 sin x cos x this is a trigonometric identity which says sin 2x is equal to 2 sin x cos x so after division on both sides we get here it will be 3 cos raised to 5x that sin x sin x will get cancelled and 1 cos will get cancelled we will have 3 cos raised to 4x similarly 1 cos from here 1 sin from here will get cancelled and this 20 by 2 becomes 10 so we have minus 10 cos square x sin square x same thing happen over here can you tell me the answer for the next term yes it will be 3 sin raised to 4x now this is the value of sin 6x upon sin 2x now if you pause the video and go back you will see that this is not the required rhs that we want we see that all the terms involved in that rhs are cosine terms so we have to replace those sine terms with those cosine terms for that we have to use this identity which says sin square x is equal to 1 minus cos square x so after replacing these sin square x with 1 minus cos square x we get lhs is equal to this we will open this bracket over here and we'll take this 10 cos square x inside this one can be expanded using a minus b whole square formula like this a square minus 2ab plus b square now finally after opening the bracket and simplifying we see sin 6x upon sin 2x is this now we combine the terms having same degree like 3 cos raised to 4x plus 10 cos raised to 4x plus 3 cos raised to 4x contributes to 16 cos raised to 4x now minus 10 cos raised to 2x minus 6 cos square x contributes to 16 cos square x now there is only one term left that is constant 3 now we see that this rhs that we found now is exactly similar to the required rhs hence we say that answer is proved i hope guys you understood this solution now let us proceed for example number 4 here we are given that if cos 6x is equal to a cos raised to 6x plus b cos raised to 4x sin square x plus c cos square x into sin raised to 4x plus d sin raised to 6x then we are asked to find out values of unknowns a b c and d guys by this example i assume that you know how to expand functions like cos nx and sin nx so now onwards i am going to skip this expansion part rather i will show you the next part after the expansion so here i assume that you know how to expand cos 6x in fact we have seen expansion of sin 6x in my previous example in that example if you compare real parts you will see expansion for cos 6x so we know expansion of cos 6x is this one this equation i borrowed from the previous answer so this is the expansion of cos 6x all we have to do now is we have to compare this expansion of cos 6x with the given expansion of cos 6x so after comparing it we see that a is 1 b is minus 15 c is 15 and d is minus 1 these are the values of the unknowns a b c and d i hope guys you understood this part as well now let us proceed for example number 5 this is the last example in my video here we are asked to prove using de moivre's theorem the value of tan phi theta is equal to this this is a huge expression now to find out expression for tan phi theta the idea is you first find out what is sin phi theta and cos phi theta then you divide both the expansions to get tan phi theta so let's do that i assume that you know how to find sin phi theta and cos phi theta's expansion 
So I'm skipping that part and directly writing expansion of sine phi theta and cos phi theta. So these are the expansions. Now we divide sine phi theta with cos phi theta. So after division, we get on LHS tan phi theta. This is the value of tan phi theta, but we see that this value does not matches at all with the this one. In this expression, we see there are all tan functions. So we have to bring tan functions by any means over here. So to do so, I see that these constants matches with the constants in this expression. So we have 5 here, we have minus 10 here, we have 1 here. All we want is tan functions instead of these sine and cosines. I see that here we have tan raised to 5 theta and here we have sine raised to 5 theta. So this tan raised to 5 theta can be obtained from this if we divide this by cos raised to 5 theta because sine upon cos theta is tan theta. So we will divide numerator as well as denominator by cos raised to 5 theta. So after dividing here we, we get 5 tan theta minus 10 tan cube theta plus tan raised to 5 theta upon cos raised to 5 theta upon cos raised to 5 theta will get cancelled. We will left with 1 here minus 10 tan square theta plus 5 tan raised to 4 theta as required. Hence proved. I hope guys you understood how to expand cos nx and sin nx types of function in terms of cos raised to nx and sin raised to nx. In my next video, I will show you how to expand cos raised to nx or sin raised to nx in terms of cos nx and sin nx. So till then, keep watching my videos. Thank you all of you. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe my YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get updates about my new videos.